while the Super Bowl game is being played 2,400 miles away from Philadelphia. But here on the ground, there's already a built-in legion of Eagles fans. Of course there are. Thousands of people who were born in the Delaware Valley, but they now call Arizona home. And while their location may have changed, they never stopped bleeding green. It's a dream come true. Once in a lifetime, in my backyard, I get to go see my team play in the Super Bowl. It's phenomenal. Ray Paxson is a dedicated Philadelphia Eagles fan. He lives in Phoenix, but his heart is with Philadelphia. Come Sunday for the Super Bowl, he's taking his dad to the big game, who's from media. It's going to be really, really sentimental and just awesome. The Paxons aren't the only ones living in Arizona, but still bleeding green. Bob Shaw has already taught his children the Eagles chant. He grew up in the city's Roxborough neighborhood, but he lives now in sunny Arizona. I had season tickets at the vet uh, in college, so the fact that they're here right now, uh, where I live, it's just, it's like meant to be. Most of the Eagles fans who are coming from the East Coast haven't made it to Arizona yet. But these now Arizona locals say that's okay. They'll hold down the fort since their loyalties truly are rooted in the Delaware Valley. Jody Eckrode from Dover, Delaware says he moved to Phoenix in 2005, but he's teaching his son all things Eagles. We're just trying to soak up as much of the atmosphere as possible. We're not going to go to the game, just watch it at home, but I uh, wanted you know, him to be able to experience some of it, so it's super exciting. Look at all the fans. I haven't seen any other fans, but, you know, Philadelphia fans. It's phenomenal. It's a team of destiny. And it's just a, a great establishment, a, a great city. There is no city with more love than Philly. A team of destiny. We heard that over and over again from these fans who are now rooted here in Arizona. But, of course, their hearts still back in the Delaware Valley. Yeah, you can take the fan out of Philadelphia, but not the <laughs> Philadelphia out of the fan. That's right.